Uh, it's a great day, a great day of celebration to recognize uh, one of our outstanding student athletes, Morgan English, uh, on National Signing Day as she commits to Mississippi State. So I'm going to open with a, a little story. So back in the fall of 2019, uh, I started here at USJ. And this freshman class has always been special to me. And it's been a lot of fun watching them grow up and get ready to head off to college. It's hard to believe that these four years have gone by so quickly. In any event, September 4, 2019, I sent a text message to a friend of mine who works in the athletic department at Winthrop University in South Carolina. And I said, hey, this is the exact text here. It says, hey, I got a name for you to keep an eye on. Morgan English. She's a freshman here at my new school. She's legit. And I added her Twitter handle. He replied back and says, oh, awesome. I'll pass it along to our coach. This next line is what's really important. The next text that I sent him was quality character two. She put in six last night. I asked her about the six, and she said, keep in mind this is a freshman. Well, I got a good team around me. Okay. A few days later, my friend sent me a text again. He said, Jonathan Brabson, he's on our staff. He knows her. She's definitely on our radar. Right? So this was four years ago. Say all that to say this. Greatness rarely operates in isolation. The skills, the qualities, the attributes that make someone a D1 athlete are no doubt going to transfer into the other areas of their lives. So you're gonna see those qualities, you're gonna see leadership, initiative, coachability, willingness to work with others. You're going to see those qualities in the other areas of Morgan's life. You're gonna see it at home, you're gonna see it in the social interactions that she has with her friends, you're gonna see it in the classroom, and of course you're gonna see it in the hallways at USJ. Morgan is not just a great athlete on the field, she's a great young woman all around. Keep in mind, reaching this level of success requires a certain level of focus, dedication, and commitment. Morgan has had her sights set on playing soccer at the next level, and that doesn't happen overnight. Putting yourself in that position starts at an early age. She set goals, she put in the extra work, and dedicated herself to the pursuit of this dream. All of these qualities add up to create a remarkable young athlete and woman. We've been so lucky to have Morgan here at USJ. I'm excited to see what she does at Mississippi State, and of course the great things that she does in life after that. Next we're going to bring up Coach Castro. Uh, he's going to say a few words as well. Um, good morning to everybody. Um, as I tried to write what to say, I couldn't stop. So I could write books and books, right? I had the pleasure to know Morgan for many years. So the first day that I met Morgan, she got her bandana, right? Her striped socks, and they had the uh, United States Alex Morgan shirt, right? She coming in and, you know, making fun of her, like, flamingo legs walking down in the field. And I hear this girl, oh, this girl's good, this girl's good, this girl's good. I'm like, okay, sure, we'll see. I'll put it to the test. And I'm in for one hour, no stop. We just went out. And then after that, it went to two hours, okay? So I said, you know, and with her big blue eyes and just tears, you know, coming down her face, I said, hey, when you want to quit, you tell me. And she said, after she's catching her breath, she said, no. I'm gonna finish. In that moment, I was like, yes. I was like, all right, then, we'll see. That's two hours later, by the way. This is about, you know, two hours and 15 minutes later. It's supposed to be one hour training session. So for me, that was the first time I met Morgan. Okay, so as the years went by, her favorite word became, why? Why this guy? Why that guy? Why are we doing this? But it wasn't much of a contradiction. It was more she was seeking to be her best version. She wanted more, always more, always more. But why do we do this? And at first, it definitely it irritated the living out of me. Okay, because like, Who's this girl always asking why. So, with that being said, though, that not only made me a better person, 
I had to be a better listener. But better than that, I had to become a better teacher. Because I had a girl that was seeking to get the best out of her. So I had to learn how to become the best to give her the best. Because she was always asking me. You know, and now she's at the age that now I gotta tell her more. Chill, you've done so much, we need to relax. We need to recover. More is not better. Just... So as we all these seven years later, right? Seven, six straight all the way to now. Seven years later, it just went like that. Now I understand my parents when they say, hey son, time flies. And I'm like, yes it does. Right? I remember that little girl and now this young woman. And it's definitely a blessing and a pleasure to get to see this amazing moment for her and you know the next stage for her. Um, and as she likes to describe it, right? She said, hey, Castro, you just brownies and sparkle, right? <laughs> or very serious. That's true. But the beauty about that is that I also learned that from her. She can be very old, la la la, you know, pump in the locker room and say, do this. Uh, and also, when she says, she comes to me, Castro, we need to work. That's exactly her words. So, you know, so that's the beauty of seeing her, you know, through the years. So not only she can be, Promise and sparkle. But she, when she's down to business, she can get the job done. And she always want more. And it's truly a blessing and a pleasure to see this and the next stage for you, Mom. Let's go. Keep it going for more games. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> um, just want to start with a few statistics. In the set, supposed to five years, because she played as an eight, as an eighth grader. Whenever she's worn the USGA jersey, the team has won 82 percent of the games. Um, she's the all-time leading goal scorer at USGA, 208 goals. She's the four-time Associated Press All-State Team, four-time Coaches Poll All-State. She's the two-time Division II uh, Single A Region MVP. She's the two-time All-West Tennessee Jackson Sun Player of the Year. And obviously you can see the trophies that we're all very proud of. She's a two-time state time champion. Morgan English, give her a round of applause. <laughs> um, this is, I'll keep it, I will keep it short, I promise. This is a great day, I think, for USJ. There's a lot of people in here that uh, are very excited about Morgan and what our family are experiencing here, here today. But it's bigger than USJ. This is a great day for soccer, I think, in, in the West Tennessee area. We just don't get this that, that often. Uh, too often we have players that have the potential to go on and do it, but they may not have what Coach Castro talked about, that internal drive. It takes a lot. We haven't had too many of them that have gone and had this success. She does follow in the footsteps of Hanye and Shelby that have done it in the past at Mississippi State. Um, but whatever got her here is going to make her a success at the next level. Um, she has had a lot of people that have helped her along the way, and a lot of them are here. Uh, she's had some incredible coaches. I know Coach Bradshaw is here. Coach Castro Sergi, I think the physical part of her uh, playing ability, a lot has come from his, um, his, his teaching and coaching that he has done with her. Uh, obviously having Coach Misty here, Coach Musa has not been. There's so many coaches along the way that have helped her. Um, her teammates, they're, 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 they're all here, they're all, you can see it in their, their eyes, how proud they are of, of, of Morgan. Um, her teammates, I think, we're all going to miss a little something. Obviously, we lose a massive senior class. Uh, when I, I've always remember walking up to the locker room. When I get to the locker room, I'm excited. There's a big game about to happen. I'm going to give a big speech, and the door is closed as I'm coming up, and they're in there dancing. And they're singing and it's going on. So when I go in, I rarely have to get anything or motivate them because they have this inner drive, if you will, and this teammate and camaraderie. And Morgan is a big part of that. Um, her family, I think it's a special day for them, not just the ones on stage, but certainly the ones in, in the, that are here watching because I see them at all the games. Um, having that kind of support, I've learned, I think, to be a better father, a better husband because of the type of family you have as well, Morgan. So thank you to them. Um, and to the faculty, a lot of USJ faculty and staff are here, so thank you for all you've given Morgan uh, throughout the years, okay? Uh, I spoke to Miss Kay that's here, and she said she signed her up uh, the day that she arrived, and 
Um, there's so many uh, Miss Sandersons here. I've seen a lot of the teachers from the lower school. We walked the halls last week with trophies and there was little kids uh, that are getting inspired to be hopefully one day where Morgan is. The reason we walked through the hallway is not because of me, by the way. Morgan was the one that set that up last year. She was the one that reached out uh, and she made sure that we were able to go out and thank the lower school. That's kind of the type of player and person we're talking about. Um, so Mo, I don't have much else to say other than thank you. Right? It has been, and I mean this, an absolute honor and a pleasure. Keep doing what you're doing to get you here, okay? Um, sometimes this feels like the end, it's not, right? It's a little chapter. And you spoke about this. You are writing an incredible book, and I can't read, wait to read the next chapter. More well, congratulations. Thank you.